it's an approach to, to doing data analysis or doing a, a churning through a lot of data in a very quick way. Most research is limited by the ability to orient yourself in a, a, a large field of data. So you can think of it as like um, uh, navigating on a map. Uh, it, it's very easy to get lost and you've got to try to find out, well, what do those peaks over there actually mean? And um, am I really in a valley or is it, uh, am I just leading uh, myself down a plateau? It's very difficult to figure out the morphology, the, the shape of things. We've come up with a way to orient yourself without having to look at or search for those landmarks. It's a, a, a kind of like a, a GPS for data or a GPS for the solutions. I am uh, a microbiologist and an oceanographer and uh, I deal with large complex oceanographic data and try to integrate the biology within the, the physical um, and chemical environment uh, within the ocean. Once we have uh, an unknown gene collected from, uh, from the ocean or even from a cancer patient, we won't have to search through this uh, complex array of, of solution, we'll be able to locate where it's placed in this complex array of solution pretty much instantaneously. Well, I'm very challenged in, in, in my job because uh, to, uh, to run most of this genetic data through the largest supercomputers here in Australia can take weeks or even months using uh, something like BLAST. Um, and uh, one day, just by chance, through a common friend, I met Peter. And uh, Peter was instrumental in changing my view of how it's not uh, that I have to find bigger computers, but I just have to find a better solution. And uh, that's how PASTE came around. For most genes out in the environment, we have absolutely no knowledge of what they're doing and why they are there what do organisms use genes for. Uh, that's true from um, going from a simple microbe going up to, uh, to humans. Most genes that we know uh, have no known function to us. A technology such as PASTE will allow us to do these searches a lot quicker. So it will cut down the time. So basically what we're trying to do is having a way of navigating through this huge amount of information much in a much quicker and much more efficient way. We'll have more information out of it too. So we are predicting that this technology will allow to discover new gene functions that are still not there. As far as we know, no one has tried to fund science this way. It might seem like a lot to invest just in a uh, technical, in a new technical approach, but the reality is when you think about the benefits that might come up to, uh, from speeding up bioinformatics and speeding up uh, research, not only uh, for climate change and oceanography, but also for infectious diseases or cancer research, well, one can see the benefits straight away. We intend that the results we publish are things that can be validated scientifically in, in the usual ways. So it's something where we're trying a different model of funding, but we're not jumping off into la la land. Our approach will hopefully allow um, researchers to do on their own PC what is currently done on big supercomputers. Mm -hmm.